Sami channel is really the rise of choice in how and where we shop. And this has fundamentally changed the world of the store. 10 years ago, when we wanted to buy a pair of shoes, we had to go to the store. Today, when we want to buy those shoes, we can go online, we can go on our phones, on our tablets. So the store is no longer an obligation, it's a choice. And now brick and mortar retailers have to find new ways and employ new strategies to draw customers into the store and inspire them to spend. I'm here with my esteemed colleague, Andrew Turp, Senior Vice President at CBRE and our resident expert on all things retail. So Andrew, is the store dead? Absolutely not. Um, I think today, ever more so than 10, 5, 15 years ago, the store experience uh, is alive and well, and it always will be. I don't think people are ever going to get tired of walking high streets or the experience of sights, sounds, and smells. I think that's who we are as humans. People love to touch product. People love to go in and have a glass of wine or a cup of coffee. People love to see brand new speakeasies or hotels. That's never, never going to change. So the, the store experience might have changed, it might have evolved, it might, it might have got more competitive with more brands out there, but that's ever more so why this store experience is alive and, and thriving today for the, for the brands that are doing the right things and speaking the right language and, and that have the right passion behind them. So how would you say that e-commerce is changing the way that retailers think about their stores? E-commerce has just challenged retailers to kind of push the boundaries of what they have done typically and, and push those boundaries out a bit further, which is a, a, a gorgeous way, really, of just getting more creative, getting more audacious, getting to know your consumer a bit better, understanding your consumer a bit more, uh, and really just driving your product and your store experience a whole lot further. And what are some of the ways that retailers are doing that, are driving that experience further? I think through, you know, through global partnerships or local partners, partnerships, whether it's restaurants and, and buying from local farmers, whether it's hotels and incorporating cooler brands from outside of LA or outside of Paris or outside of London, wherever they're in fact stationed. And why do consumers like those partnerships? Because it exposes them to more, you know, and I think it, it becomes like a very interesting topic uh, to get to know things that, that maybe your friends don't know about or that your parents didn't know about or have access to and all of a sudden it's it's becomes emblematic of who you are as a person it's a statement um you know and i think that that whole exposure and, and that whole knowledge base is what you know retail and creativity is really all about what about the physical space how are retailers thinking about their physical brick and mortar stores today um you know, I think there's there's so much that goes into that equation, but it's it's less about thinking, you know, how can I make this store experience better just inside these four walls? It's about how can I build a brand and the brand awareness, and how is that four, those four walls speaking that to a larger degree? Andrew, some excellent points on retail innovation and retail of the future. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for having me. It was a, it was a pleasure.